Hey YouTube, it's day four Vita slash Veda. You can tell I did laundry today because there's a yellow towel behind me instead of a green towel. So I'm really stressed out right now because my senior comp is due in like a week and a half and I feel like I should not be making this video right now and I should probably be doing homework. But see, the thing is, making these videos and watching your guys' videos on YouTube is the only thing keeping me sane right now. Like, I look forward to this and I don't want to give it up. So I'm just gonna keep on vlogging because really, who needs sleep? No one needs sleep. This is a lie. It's like cake. Not really. People need sleep. Don't listen to me. Go, go get sleep. So a lot of people in their vlogs or in the comments have talked about how they don't let people in their real lives know about their vlogging. And I also happen to be one of those people. I know I only started vlogging four days ago, but I have yet to tell anyone. I feel like there's a lot more pressure on me when I know people that I know are watching these vlogs. I feel like they're gonna judge me and I don't want them to do that. You guys don't know me, so you can't judge me and say that the things I'm doing now are inconsistent with what I have to do in the past. And being a sociology major, I have found a way to relate this topic to sociology. So just to give you a little background, Goffman's piece on face work talks about how we all take different faces, which is sort of like our persona when we interact with other people. And when we're in face, then how we're acting is both internally consistent and consistent with our actions in the past. When you're out of face, that means that how you're acting is not internally consistent, it's not consistent with what you've done in the past, or it's just not appropriate for the situation. Goffman says that when we get out of face, we feel shame because we realize that we're out of face and we get anxious and then we get embarrassed because we're out of face and then we can't get back in face because we're so embarrassed and ashamed and it's just like blah, terrible explosion. Except minus the explosion. Similar to this is Reisman. He talks about how society gets us to conform by making us want to conform. In the past, this may have been based on tradition and if we didn't follow tradition, we felt shame. And then we moved on to inner directed societies where people acted in accordance to their inner motives and morals. And if they didn't do that, they felt guilty. But now we're in a new society where we're outer directed and we look to other people for how to act. And if we don't act within the norms that other people are doing, we feel anxiety because we know we're out of face, but we don't know how to get back in face. So basically, if you don't follow what other people are doing, it makes you very anxious. And if you're not doing how, if you're not acting how people think you should act, you, it's just bad feelings and guilt and anxiety and shame, and it's not cool. So how does this relate to YouTube? I'm afraid that if people who know me in real life watch these videos, they'll be like, oh, this isn't how Caroline acts in real life. I am judging you. I'm using the word judging a lot. I'm sorry about that. It's one of my words. I have words. So it's easier for me to talk to you guys because you don't know me in real life and you don't have anything else to base my actions on to check if they're consistent or not. This is kind of the awesome part about the internet. You can create a whole new persona and everyone will just think it's you. And maybe it is, maybe this is me? I don't know because I don't act like this in real life. I don't just talk to people I don't know. I can't talk to people I don't know. But on YouTube, I can make these videos and I can talk and I can post comments on other people's videos and I can make video responses and I can reach out to people. But this is not consistent with how I act in real life. So which one's the real me or are they both the real me? I don't know. I feel like the person I am on YouTube is kind of like the person I want to be in real life. I want to be more extroverted, but at the same time, I don't want to give up my introvertedness. I don't know. I'm very confused. I think both of these personalities are part of me, but what do you guys think? Do you think it's possible to have these two split personalities and have them both be the real you? Does anyone else feel the same way that you act differently on YouTube versus in real life? Let me now know in the comments down below. So that's all for today, YouTube. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!